Welcome back. We find ourselves this morning in Wausau, Florida at the Washington County Emergency Operations Center here now with Lynn Abel, Public Safety Director for Washington County. We've experienced, uh, for lack of a better term, a perfect storm. Uh, mm -hmm. So many different um, things coming together. We've had inordinately hot and cold weather in the past year or two. Mm -hmm. uh, we have had uh, the bubble burst uh, financially so that economically people have been challenged for the last five or six years. On top of that, more weather uh, events such as this. And then in the middle of all that, you find yourself in this new position. Mm -hmm. Certainly um, you should have and obviously were prepared for it because of your time in the office prior to this. Um, but um, for what it's worth, hats off to you. Um, the Well, you know, as part of the media ourselves, we receive um, regular updates. You have been very uh, comprehensive in your dissemination of information when it's been necessary, mm -hmm. uh, not sending out a whole lot of fluff and not, mm -hmm. not sending out stuff when it's not necessary, but keeping people uh, apprised of the situation, and that's very important. Um, let me just ask, um, what kind of uh, local support have you been receiving? Have, have you... Have, have you have, uh, our, our county fathers, the public, everybody, have, have, have you had a lot of support and, and, and uh, opportunities for people to say, good job? Well, frankly, um, the situation has, has been a little challenging, um, and I think everybody is feeling that, including the public. Um, they're, they're challenged as well. This has been a difficult situation. And, um, but I, I don't feel that I'm not receiving support. I, I certainly think... Um, that people have been um, supportive, understanding that this is something that we've not dealt with before. Um, the situation is is completely different from anything I've dealt with in my 14 years. So um, yes, I, I do feel like for the most part everybody has been very, very supportive of our office and our staff and um, I hope they'll continue to support the uh, Road and Bridge Department and the decisions that are made on the ground because, um, you know, um, certainly everybody's road is important to them and, and their situation is, is most critical to them. But I think as a general rule, even even the citizens are, are being fairly understanding that this is something that we, we just had not um, and could not plan for. And well, they should. Um, you're in a thankless position. At the best mm -hmm. of times, uh, mm -hmm. you're still going to be a bad guy to somebody because of Absolutely. decisions you have to make. Mm -hmm. Just recently, um, today as a matter of fact, um, I know that information has come from the state about outbreaks of uh, dengue uh, mm -hmm. flu or, or the virus uh, yes. due to the mosquitoes. Um, uh, drain and cover, I think, is the, is the catch yes. word. Um, have we got an inc a higher incidence of mosquitoes and, and subsequent need, uh, even if it's not being done for spraying here? Well, our um, local health department, Amanda Baker, is working. She's doing some trapping because of the continuous rain. She's done the initial trapping but has not been able to do the subsequent trapping to see the difference in the population of mosquitoes. We know that it has grown. Um, but There's not been enough dry weather to... Exactly, yeah. and so um, she is, the uh, Department of Health locally is, is working on that information for us. We're looking at the option of aerial spraying and uh, mosquito uh, vector control and abatement and that kind of thing. Um, but right now, we're just still gathering information. Um, certainly, people do need to take all the precautions they can around their homes, and I would recommend even... Um, getting the um, the little larvicide tablets. I know in the past they've been available at um, hardware stores locally and that sort of thing. Okay, I wasn't aware um, of that. Yes, so so that's a good option for small ponds and, and places where water is ponding um, to, to just help individuals. But pouring out the water that's standing, um, covering areas that, that you can that would trap water best option and certainly use uh, mosquito repellent and stay in and, and covered when you can. So, In recent discussion with officials from the city of Chipley, mm -hmm. they say they are in good condition but they're full. Yeah. Uh, so they, they're, they're, they have, they're experiencing the same situation that Tommy Barfield expressed which is a water volume issue. Yeah. Nice way of saying there's just too much of it. Yeah. So going forward, we've got a couple of days here. It seems like a kiss from the weather, yes. sunshine, uh, low humidity in mm -hmm. the morning, almost a harbinger of fall coming yes. in the air. Um, where do you go from here? What are your hot buttons? Uh, presuming we have no more rain for a while and you're giving some relief, 
Um, what are you working towards now to alleviate some of the issues that you just uh, mentioned? Okay, well again, we've got, uh, for individuals, we've got these groups coming in, um, and I believe they're on the ground now that are, are beginning to um, do some assistance or, or determine if assistance can be provided to some of our homeowners. And again, um, with some of that, they need dry weather to be able to work absolutely. on a home. Absolutely, that's right. So catch-22 there. That's right. Um, as far as the roads, um, our, our Public Works Department is making every effort to, first of all, assist FEMA and the state in doing their assist, uh, assessments and um, then, you know, take care of the most urgent repairs where life safety issues are involved and um, then begin doing the, the obvious repairs that need to be made. They're doing the grading and shaping on dirt roads and that kind of thing. Um, and Do we have any roads right now still that are non-passable, that are impacting bus, uh, school buses? Yes, yes, we have, and, and I've not looked at the list today. Um, we did open a few roads yesterday, but we did have around 40 roads that are still closed. Um, and it's just because the impacts are, are so severe to those roads. Um, well, what are they doing in those cases? Kids are being either by private vehicle or having to walk to another location to be picked up? Is that what they're doing? That is that is being worked on the school uh, board side, but yes, they I understand the bus drivers have driven their routes and, and the areas that they cannot get through on a school bus. Um, parents are being asked to meet the school bus, take the children, that sort of thing. Because what a car can, can get through on, of course, a school bus, um, has a much more difficult time. It's a heavier vehicle. It can cause more damage to the road, damage to the bus, and possibly potential, uh, you know, safety issue for the children involved too. And so naturally the school board's first interest is the safety and protection of the children. Well, thanks for taking the time today. Okay. Uh, we only live a couple miles from here. We've purposely held off uh, coming over because I can just imagine you've been snowed under, but we appreciate this. We would like uh, at some point uh, in the next week or so to make another stop by Absolutely. and maybe get an update. Um, okay. Thanks for all you do. Um, Thank you. you, you your, what, your efforts don't go unnoticed, um, and there are a lot of people out there who may not be vocal, but they're saying Lynn is in there. She's doing a great job. She hit the ground running, and she's facing challenges that anybody would have issues with. So thank you for what you do. Thank you, Mr. Gaudling. Here right now with Lynn Abel, Public Safety Director for the County of Washington County. Um, here talking about the flooding, the uh, rain events that have led to what uh, Tommy Barfield from the Department of Transportation has called a water volume uh, situation. Uh, obviously just too much of it, causing lots of problems. We still have a price tag at the end of all this. We're still going to have to figure out how to pay for this. As Lynn points out, some state and federal funding possibly forthcoming. And uh, as we move forward with these reports, hopefully we'll be able to give you some good news. We'll be right back.